Hello everybody, King of Colors back again. And it's time for another episode of UPW. We got episode 14, Come Your Way. We got uh, six matches, and then uh, a promo spot at the end of the show. So it'll be more me talking about what's happening this week. Um, in the meantime, let's get into it. Get into the action straight away. So we had, uh, kind of a recap, we had a stellar show yesterday. It was episode 13, and it was a pay-per-view quality hour of action. So we're hoping to duplicate that here tonight. So certain things up, we've got a tag match. We'll be featuring the team of Bag Boy and Workhorse taking on the two two yeah, two of the members of Rage Inc. Interesting, some uh, trouble was brewing between them a little over a week ago. Actually, I'm sorry, about two weeks ago, when uh, Yusum X bailed on uh, Jesse Wilkes during a match, and then yesterday's yesterday's episode. It was the other way around. It was Jesse that bailed on Usum. So, uh, quite the uh, controversy going on there. Be interesting to see if they've cleared things up or if they're still having problems communicating. <clears throat> Team of Workhorse and Bag Boy seem to be back on or back together ever since uh, they reunited few episodes back. It was last Friday when Workhorse returned and then the two of them teamed up start uh, started teaming up again as of as of Sunday. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with them going forward as well. Workhorse and Bag Boy making their way to the ring. These guys can be both silly and serious. Um, Bag Boy has shown that on his own he can be quite durable. Holding a win over uh, Perito from the tribe. Workhorse uh, came came to the make the risk make the save for Bag Boy last Friday when he had lost a match to Perito. The lights had went out and we thought it was just part of the after post-match celebration for Perito, but in the darkness, Workhorse appeared, attacked Perito, speared him, and then gave him the eight-second ride. And here comes Rage Inc. Couple of real hotheads we got on our hands with these guys. Let's see what happens tonight. See if uh, they're back on the same page, or if uh, or if they still got, or if they're still having issues with each other. Last episode may have been a situation where. Uh, just kind of a little bit of payback on the part of, of Jesse Wilkes, or it could be actual seriously a serious lingering problem within the group. <clears throat> All right, and here's the match. It started. <laughs> So arm, arm ringer and the elbow on the back of the arm for work on workhorse. 
eats a series of punches and then now being choked in the corner by Wilkes. Ooh, a right knee to the face. Nice little black trip backflip cutter, excuse me. Back in the corner in the corner and being choked again. Oh. Workhorse shoves looks away. Nice kick to the abdomen there. Oh. Back elbow. Pulling looks towards the ropes. He fights him off. Nice fireman Terry, fireman's carry takeovers. Ooh, and a discus forearm right on the jaw. Very smart, bringing him back to his own corner and tagging in his partner, Bag Boy. Off to the abdomen. Oh, knees at the face and just hold him down there. Showing a little bit of attitude. Back elbow there. Wilkes had him in the corner. Back elbow to the face. He's brought in the hard way. Oh, and a low bridge. Low bridge by Usum X takes out uh, Bag Boy. Nice counter to the big boot. Bag boy opening back towards his corner there. Stomping on now. I've seen this tactic used. Tag in comes workhorse. They're, they're just gonna stomp on him, making a stampede of this. Tag in comes bag boy. Tag in comes workhorse again. Time for a basement drop kick. Ooh. Worker's going for a pin. On a quick kick out there by Wilkes. Kind of a reverse chin lock of sorts. Nice escape. Oh! He was going for a spear perhaps. Got, got blocked. Houston Max pulling workhorse off the apron. Now Houston Max, I guess, getting tired of waiting. <laughs> he tagged in. He's just gonna take it to workhorse. Free count to three, up to four. Ooh, nice back suplex there. Counter with an arm drag takeover. Counter into the counter into the corner. Oh, back elbow. Oh. Elbow again, again. Oh, backflip. It's like a version of a backflip cutter, like a Salida del Sol type of move. For a powerbomb of sorts. Oh! Playing him. Rope break. Have him a little too close to the ropes there. Murphy was out of position but still able to, to make the call. Oof. Now he's makes being officially tagged into the match. Oh, he suspends himself on the. Suspended himself on the middle rope. Oh, the big right hand. Goes for a pin. 
One, oh! No, the referee's been knocked out. There's a chair now. Drops it. Now you see the referee's back up. Right hand by Workhorse. Counter by Yusem. Oh! Another hard right. To the face. Referee sees the chair now. He's trying to get it up out of the way. Of course, a nice counter into the corner. Oof. Eats a boot to the face, though. Oh! And then a big boot. After bouncing off the ropes. Oh, there's a spear. And a pin. One. No, kick out for one. Rookhorse, she's been in there for a while now. Needs to make the tag. Oh, he's in a hanging up workhorse. Picking him up. Oh, another hard right. Going for a superplex, it looks like. Oh, no. Workhorse got superplex out onto the hard concrete floor. No padding, no forgiveness. He could be seriously hurt. He's a mech slides into the ring. Going up to Bag Boy. Pulls Bag Boy into the ring. Bag Boy rolls out a. Oh! Oh no! Bagbo making some hard shots on Ethan X. Uh oh, on the apron now. Oh, punch after punch. Hard up across the ring. Oh, running knee to the abdomen. Oh, a step up drop kick. Oh, and a nice cutter there. Well, he had a chance to get out. Didn't take it. He really needs to try to get out. Oh, back elbow. Workhorse really needs to get out of the ring now. He is hurting big time. I think in time for another double team here. Nope. Oh. Instead, well, he could be going for that drive by style drop kick. Oh! And that looks like it may have cut open Yusum X on the forehead. Going for a pin. One. Oh, kick out after one. Bag boy taking out Jesse Wilkes. Going for a clothesline. Nope. Reversed. On oh, quite the reversal into a counter clothesline by Yusum X. Very smart move. Oh, went for a kick, got caught. Into Geary. He's mixed back up though. Oh, right hand. Another right. He bounces off the ropes of the clothesline. Choke slam into a backbreaker. Now Yusum is starting to feel it. Kick. 
Oh, step up kick to the side of the head. You know, look at this. Oh, right across the jaw. Going for a pin. One. Oh, Bagboy makes the save. Uh oh. But Wilkes is in there to get rid of Bagboy. Oh, nice back elbow. Armbrack takeover, but launches him towards his corner. That's not where he wants to be. Armbrack takeover by Ethan X. Flipped into the corner. Tag, looking for a double team here. There's him the back boy. Has him upside down. Oh, an assisted tombstone pile driver. Using Max wisely rolling out of the ring. Went over towards his corner. Very smart move. Oh, snap suplex. Ooh, nice counter there. Oh, and yeah, a basement drop kick. Looks now back in the corner. Oh, and a running European uppercut. That may have just been just a regular uppercut. He may have actually caught him on the jaw with that one. That went for oh another headbutt. We'll be looking at another drive-by. This is just getting out of hand here. Oh. Two, three. Oh, the floor DVT for Jesse Wilkes. And it looks like Brookers and Bag Boy pull out the win. Ray Jean, who at one point were at the head of the division, have started falling backwards. Haven't really got any traction to come back from it. From it. In the meantime, you got Workhorse and Bag Boy celebrating. They're, look, they're hoping to gain some, some opportunities, looking for those tag titles in the future. Let's move on to our next matchup. Speaking of tag teams and tag team champions, we've got a non-title match between the current champions and the new number one contenders. So it'll be the Tarp Brothers taking on Lucha Revolution. Again, this is a non-title match. They'll be defending those championships this Sunday at our next pay-per-view event, which is something you'll see, or something you'll hear more about at the end of this uh at the end of the stream. <clears throat> Checking in on notifications. <clears throat> Yesterday's episode, they had quite the, uh, quite the classic, quite the, uh, the pay-per-view quality event, uh, in their, in their match yesterday. And, uh, it makes me wonder what we're going to see tonight, as well as, more specifically, what we're going to see this coming, uh, Sunday at our next event. So these guys keep bringing, 
keep bringing the action like this, who knows what's going to happen. And here come the Tag Team Champions. Jethro and Ezra Tarp. They have held those titles ever since winning them at first blood. And have not really pushed them since. Been in quite the tear. Only losing one match in their time here in UPW. Now they have had some competition though. They've come close a few times with some of their some of their encounters. But ultimately they turn it up when they need to. Utilizing their brute strength. And here comes the Lucha Revolution, or two members of it. So far this faction has held the world title, which is currently held by their leader, El Cerebro. Uh, the women's championship has been inside this faction, which was held by Carmen Guerrero. She no longer has that title, though. Now they're looking for a possible opportunity with the attack uh, championships. Should the uh, should the team of Super Frio and Gran Tigre be uh, successful? Tigre runs for rain dropkick. Is blocked. Counterpunch there. Backed up to the ropes quickly by Ezro. Where he's going to have to separate them. Oh! A dirty left hand punch. Right. Oh! He paid for it with the, with the Hurricane Rana. Going for an early bro and arrow lock. Nicely applied. Oh, but the size and strength on display as Ezra quickly gets out of it. Oh, and a hard right hand just rocks him. Oh, a nice counter bulldog. Oh, stomping on the back of the arm. Ooh, and a nice standing shoe and start press. A right hand and a backstabber. Tigre is feeling it already. Whipping him into the corner. Be time for a double team here. Or not. Here we go. Tags in Super Frio. Looking for a double team here. Double back elbows. And going to the works on the arm again. Very smart tactics here on display. Oh! Boot to the face though. Oh, and satellite. Toss. I guess is what you'd call that. Oh, and a big knee to the face of Super Frio. And just like that, within about a matter of two to three moves, the uh, Tarp Brothers are back in control. There's the pig pin slam. One, two, kick out two by Super Frio. Reaching on the trapezius muscle there. Frio getting back up to his feet. Slowly. Oh, fires a pair of, of rights. Oh! Then eats one. Oh, and going to the arm again. This time, this time more the shoulder. Oh, has him draped. Oh, and a slingshot leg drop. And back of the neck while he was suspended across the bottom rope. Arms 
towards the corner. Ezra had been thinking it was time to tag it, tag out. Oh, uh oh, it's like the revolution is trying to take over with a little bit of a little stampede action here. Now it's Frio back in again. Third series of strikes. One for a basement drop kick, perhaps. Oh, nicely done by a Grand Tigre. Oh, but look how quickly Ezra's back on his feet. Oh, picking him up and just slamming him down on a clothesline. Back by drop. And a spine buster. Oh, I'm just tossing him. I'm going for that pig pen slam on Grand Tigre. He's had a history of back problems. Went for a pen. Super free over there to break it up. But only to be thrown back out. Ezra finally tagging out to Jethro. Oh, quick kick to the back. Oh, back elbow on the ear. Second one. And third. And just a series of stomps. Oh. Oh, went for a... Went to launch him in the air and got countered with a kind of a headlock takeover of sorts. And a nice clothesline. Knocking Jethro out onto the floor. But right before he could do any, anything else to follow it up, Ezra stopped him. I swear these Tarp brothers, they will they will unleash they will unleash uh, vicious strikes with their power. Oof. Uh oh. Oh, overhead belly to belly. Just throwing them. This is not where you want to be when you're facing the Tarp Brothers, though. If we count to five. Six. Uh-oh. Jethro going, a going after him. Breaking the count. Just so he can... Oh, spear him through the barricade. This KC crowd, the UPW faithful, Shane, this is awesome. They are loving it. Referee's count is up to three now. And Tigre, he could have suffered a very serious injury just from that. Uh-oh. Rio. Oh! Let's take some of the beating now. Decided to roll out of the ring. Very smart. Referee up to seven. Oh! Air lifting him. Oh! There's his back elbow strikes again. Oof. Oh, and a beal toss. Nice counter kick there. Oh! Got him up on the ropes. Oh! Slams him back down. Do we think it's time for the tarp slam? Oh, has him up. Oh, and there's that modified power slam. One, two, three. And the tarp brothers get the win. My goodness. Oh, they're shooting off the referee. Uh-oh. Kick to Super Frio, stomping him. Shoving him out of the ring. And now the assault begins on Grand Tigre, who's already had some some issues with his with his back. And they're just mugging him. This keeps up there may not be challengers for the tag titles come Sunday.
quite the development going forward. Moving on now, we're going to <clears throat> going to see El Cerebro take on number one contender Harambe Prime. And these two put on quite the match uh, yesterday. Back and forth action, but we saw Prime come out on top. See what happens in this episode. Trail were just getting kicked off with a bang as Harambe Prime charged El Cerebro before, uh, before their match even started yesterday. Will we see more of that intensity or will things have calmed down a little bit? Here comes the world champion. That's River raking his way to the ring, very proud holder of that belt. So far, he's the first and only man to hold the World Heavyweight Championship here in UPW. And here comes Harambe Prime. Torching the set, it seems to just materialize. The crimson lighting here. You see, uh, you see the Beastmaster surveying the arena, the warehouse, more specifically. Stalking his way to the ring. champion not very far behind keeping a close eye on his opponent he knows that he's going to be in for a battle we're be taking off his cave now we're going to get this one underway oh nice hit scissor takeover immediately by the champ Oh, and a kick to the spine. Oh, quick strikes. Challenger shoves him down. Oh, and a right hand. Kicks the abdomen there. They may have been thinking head scissors again. Oh, throwing him around with a beal. Went for an uppercut right. Didn't get it. Nice jawbreaker there. Champ going for an early mind slam. This is not going to be enough though. This is way too early. One. Yeah, not even a two count. I mean, you can't be that surprised. I mean, frustrated maybe. Sure, why not? 
Oh, he grabs him by the back of the neck and mask. Oh, kick to the abdomen. Another kick. Oh, and a big time lariat. Oh, a hard right hand. Looks enough for some guerrilla tactics. Oh, I'm planting the champ. One, two. Oh, a kick out, two and a half. Much to the surprise of Harambe Prime. Celebrating a little too much, though, he didn't win the match. Oh. Oh, now it just rained down with fists on the champ's face. Oh, now get him a series of head buzz. This is Shades of Monster Heal. Oh, he picked up some tips from from a previous from the previous challenger. Nice counter there. Oh, and a big time counter. He charges in. Go for a pin one. No, not even a two count on that one. Oh, going back to work on the trapezius muscle. Gripping down, I and mean, you have to think that with metallic hands like that. It just has to just has to hurt that much more. Oh big rain avalanche into the corner. Or I'm onto the apron there. Not where you want to be. Oh, forearm shot. Looking to superplex him in using that strength. That freakish superhuman strength. Oh! Back in to the ring the hard way. Went to stomp, rolled out of the way. Oh, blocks the punch. Oh no. Okay, there's a deadlift sit out power bomb. One. Two, kick out by the champ. Harambe playing to the crowd yet again. Come back to bite him though. Champ trying to crawl away. But there's no escaping an animal like this. Oh, hard right. Now he's just trying to hit and run. Oh my goodness, a reverse suplex onto the hard concrete floor. Throwing him back into the ring. Oh, forearm strike to the back. Close lines him over the top rope and out onto the floor yet again. Harambe is just having fun. Two. Referee's got the count going. Three. Now the champ might consider retreating. Up on the apron. It's back in. Oh! Running cross body. Very low to the ground. My goodness. <laughs> what could we be seeing next? Right, if I'm props him up against the ropes there. Then dump him over. Oh! It's hard to the hard floor. Uh oh. Oh no, my. What the hell was that? Got a front flip tope there. Showing some agility by the bigger by the bigger creature. The big beast. Referee hasn't started his count yet. There he goes. Oh! The guardrail. Back chop. Right hand uppercut. Oh! A desperate forearm shot. Oh! A veal toss. Oh! Rooting crossbody on the floor. Four. Army Prime just walks back into the ring. Five. Can't me just want to crawl away, just not even about to get back in. Seven. 
Oh, there's the satellite armbar. I've seen him use this one effectively. The challenger just rolls him away. Oh, went for it again. Oh, crucifix slam. Oh. Oh. And a running splash yet again. My goodness. Chance been put through hell. Oh no. Time for some more guerrilla tactics, I think. Oh. Second time around. One. Two. Oh, and a kick out. My goodness. I don't know if Harambe knows what to what to make of that. Grabs him by the head. Oh, he gets tripped. Champion. Starting to feel himself a bit. Went for a clothesline. Didn't get it, but blocks the double chops. Just the clothesline that time. And running drop kick knocks Trombe on his back. Satellite armbar. Gets it. Up oh, right by the ropes though. Referee forces the break. Oh, going for another submission hold. Interesting kind of camera lock, chin lock combination there. Oh, running forearm. And Harambe now is the one retreating. He has to go on to the outside. Hard fist to the back. Oh no! He gets the clothesline on the champ. Oh! Face first off the post. Rumbay telling him to count. Four. Five. Rumbay knows this is a non title match, so he's not concerned. Not concerned with how he wants to beat the champ. Uh oh. Has him upside down. Has his legs trapped. Uh oh. Oh, there's no way. There's no way this gorilla is this agile. The beast diving. Oh, no. Looks like he barely connected with the drop kick. That's a world class drop kick right there, ladies and gentlemen. And Harambe staggering back up to his feet. Goes for a pin, but he's right by the ropes. Referee needs to call the rope break. One, two. It's a two count there. Referee wasn't even paying attention to where they were at. Oh, hard punch to the abdomen. Oh, no. I've been thinking the time for another crossbody, but could not get it done. Try for step up in Sigiri, missed. Get caught in the ropes a little bit there. Oh, nice counter. Uh, use the strength and try to powerbomb the big beast. One. Oh, kick out after one. Now time for a Boston Crab. But the beast is too powerful as he gets out of the hold. Going for another pin, right by the ropes again. Not even a one count that time. The abdomen. Oh, and stomping on the back of the arm. Now with the metal plates, I'm not sure how much protection he actually has. So he tries slamming the arm down. Oh, going for an interesting kind of a kind of an arm kind of modified arm bar there. And she on the arm and shoulder, right there at the joint. Uh oh, rolling out of it now. Oh, and into a back elbow there. Ooh, he gets caught with the forearm. Oh, here's that satellite armbar yet again. Right by the ropes, though. One. No, kicked out before two.
Slams down on the back arm. Slams down on the arm, excuse me. Oh! Step up head scissors. Taking over the beast. Kick to the spine. Back body drop is Harambe looking to get back into it. Looking to the ropes. Uh oh. What's he thinking here? Real Tactics 2.0 perhaps. Oh! And now goes for a pin. One, two, and three. Harambe Prime weathers the storm at the end of the match and comes away with the big win. That's two episodes in a row, Prime has pinned the champ. Oh no! Champ getting angry over the over the pin, so he kicked out. Referee was trying to hold him back and got clocked for it. Cerebro is furious. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see what happens going forward if uh, there's going to be some fines or something on the hands of uh, the champ. Speaking of champs, women's champion, new women's champion at that, Victoria James. She's going to be in a non-title match against her new number one contender, Talia. Interesting to see what happens here between these two ladies. And all the while, mind you, they're still uh, a holder of the of the UPW jackpots. There's uh, one for the men's division and the women's division. They'll be lurking in the shadows, I'm sure, especially with these uh, title matches coming up. They're guaranteed an opportunity at the time of their choosing. Oh no! Talia coming out to new theme music and gets clocked right in the back of the head with the belts. Victoria James, he just leveled her, her new number one contender. Samoans are known for having hard heads, but I mean. That's a gold-plated belt. Now she's fighting back. Oh, whipping her into the into the steps. Talia climbs into the ring. Now the champ getting in. Oh, eats the left hand. That chop. Now a oh sidewalk slam. Ty showing she's not afraid of her taller opponent. Oh, big running double axe handle right into the chest. Arm strike. Oh, and plants her with the DET. Now going for a pin. One. No, kick out after one. Too early. Going for another scoop slam. Countered. Oh, Tell you went for a boot, missed it. Whipped into the corner. Oh, back elbow there. Going for a scoop slam. Didn't get it though. Oh, going for the playmaker. Oh, and hits it. Talia with the uppercut and a nice clothesline. Now this is going to be an interesting challenge for Talia because normally she fights, uh, normally she's been in the ring of smaller women. Now she's got a real challenge with someone bigger than her. Uh -huh. Choking her and stomping her with the boot. Going for a suplex. A stall there. Oh, hard right hand. And a clothesline over the top rope. Champ looking to do something here. Oh, and a big dive. Casey crowd loving this action. 
Once again, they're chanting that this is awesome. Challenger down. Champ rolls back in the ring. And back out. Make sure that there's no count going. Tossed into the ring. Talia's trying to get in after her. Oh, double shot. Oh, there she goes. Gets her up on her shoulders. That, uh, reverse backbreaker there. Or, I'm sorry, reverse torture rack. Excuse me. And then just drops her down. Going for this moment. Spike! Oh, nails are right in the face. I go for a pin. One. Two. Champ kicks out after two. Italian's gonna have to put in more work than that if she wants to win the title this coming Sunday. Locks the right hand. Nice counter. Slips away. Oh, modified backbreaker. And for another pin. One. Kick out. Right by the ears. Oh! Turn her up and slamming her back down. Feeling confident in herself now. Picks her up. Counter again. Oh, and a big running boot. And now, Victoria James climbing to the top rope. Oh, went for the diving chop, didn't get it. Gets her up again, up on the shoulders. This will wear down the back of the champ. But the champ manages to fight out of it. Oh, nice arm direct. Uh-oh. Oh, and a power bomb. Pending combination. One. Kick out after one. Now Boston Crab. Talia does not submit. In fact, she is able to get out of it. Just barely, though. But now the champ got some momentum going. Oh, clothesline. Another one. One for a running clothesline there. Oh! Didn't get it, but did get caught. Oh, that twist and hammerlock DT, but right by the ropes, though. Referee able to see the rope break. Oh, nice counter there. Him fighting back. Some carry takeover. And a nice catch there. Oh, series of right hands. Having the champ on the ropes now. An assisted suplex. Nicely done. Could you think another Samoan spike or maybe another uh, twisting DT? Kept going for the DT again. Oh! Plane or head first. Every opposition one. Two, three, and Talia has pinned the women's champion. These women, they really left it out there. Going back and forth, there were several times when it looked like the champ was going to be victorious, but the New York contender showing she belongs, showing she deserves this title opportunity. As yeah, she's managed to put down the women's champion.
Time for our next matchup here. We got Bonita taking on Black Lotus. Must be a interesting matchup here because this will be Bonita's first one-on-one -on -one confrontation. And uh, be uh, interesting to see because Bonita won the women's jackpot uh, little challenge, little women's UPW uh, ladder match. Excuse me, UPW jackpot ladder match. So it'll be interesting to see uh, what all happens in this one. Well, this is not for the the briefcase. Benita is wisely choosing not to defend that. But uh, Black Lotus, yeah, I think that if she can get a win here, she'll be putting herself, you know, in possible future contention. Here she comes the female member of the uh, Kobayashi Strike Force. Had her ups and downs in UPW so far. That double checking my social media here. All right, here comes Benita. And there she has it. The Virgil is a money in the bank winner, but I mean, we like to call it a UPW jackpot because money in the bank is something that WWE puts on, and we're not WWE. They may offer us some some fashions a platform, but we are our own entity. We are UPW. We are the underground. Benita very proudly displaying that uh, briefcase. She knows she can cash it in at any time. Don't let the mask fool you though. Benita will knock your face off. Oh! Trading strikes between the two ladies. Oh, back fist. Fireman carry takeover. Hard kick. Oh, and back elbow. A strike there by by Lotus. Went for another drop kick, didn't get it. Oh, and a headbutt. Oh, back fist again. Oh, backhand chop. Leapfrog over. Oh, and a knee to the stomach. For a back suplex. Nicely done. You're know, rolling to the apron. I was trying to take over here. Oh. Getting caught. Kick to the abdomen. He nails the right hip attack. Could be going for the lotus pedal. Nails the lotus pedal. And what a sequence there. She could pin her. One, two. Oh, and a kick out. Two and a half. And Lotus is a. Uh, lotus is arguing with the referee. Goes for a scoop slam. Doesn't get it. Oh. 
Never spin back to fist. Counter with the chop. Ice Arm Drag Takeover. I'll go for a Dragon Sleeper. You gotta believe this is directed at someone. You know, the Dragon Sleeper is a move that uh, Nicole Fujinami has used. Uh oh. Oh! Nice sweeping neckbreaker one. No, kick out at one. Uh oh. Picks her up. Oh no! The rabbit rampage. Going for a pin after she kind of celebrated a little bit too early, in my opinion. One, two, yep. Oh, if it's chopping a backbreaker, stomps to the head. Oh, and a knee. Oh, and a diving knee or diving headbutt. Excuse me. Now she got going. Nice little arm drag followed by. Double knees to the arms. That oh, have a swinging neck breaker of sorts. One, two. Kick out barely at two. A sweeping neck breaker, I should say. Oh, now just kicking up the dirt, showing her little to no respect. Now you gotta think that uh. Oh no, Lotus Petal! Out of nowhere! One, two, oh! Two and a half. Vanita kicks it out. About to say that uh, you have to believe that Victoria James and, uh, and, T and uh, Talia both are watching. For a rabbit rampage again. Has her hooked. Oh! Going for the pin. One. Two. No! Barely at two and three quarters. Kicking out. Close line. Close line. And a drop kick. What she got in mind here? Over to the corner. So her up, kind of seated in the middle rope. Oh, suspension neck breaker, perhaps. Oh, over to the middle rope. Went for a diving uh, forearm, didn't catch it. Oh, went for a running drop kick, didn't get that either. What's she doing? Throwing her off, oh, tumbling out of the ring. Going for a dive. This rabbit's got hops. Oh! And knocking her spine first into the barricade. Look at this. Boom! Vanita just kicked it up against Black Lotus. Oh, remember into the barricade. Oh, and a German suplex. Entering the ring. Referee puts the count on him. Four. Five. Lois gets back into the ring. Oh, it's a punch. Nice arm drag takedown. Oh. Oh no. It's a punch and now going for some more rabbit rampage. And a pin. One, two, three. Benita gets the win. Benita's showing that she is not 
gonna go down without a fight. And you know, give some credit to Lotus though, she hit some Lotus pedals, all of them out of nowhere. Almost got an upset on this one. But the uh, sweeping neck breaker and the rabid rampage, even though it took multiples of both, it paid off in the end. That diving suicide dive through the ropes was, was crazy. That's just terrifying. Time for our main event. Main event matchup here. We got Purple Rage challenging for the Bloodsport Championship against the new Bloodsport Champion, Toa Latu. Toa won the title from the two time uh, champion, Raymond, uh, yesterday actually, in our in yesterday's episode. So this will be our main event here. And then after this, we've got a uh, kind of a promo segment with me, which is basically going to be me talking about. Uh, what's coming up this coming Sunday? It'll be interesting because Purple Rage hasn't been as active as of late. So he'll be in action here in just a few moments. Checking in with my social media in the meantime. So again, just to recap here, first blood rules is the tradition with our Bloodsport Championship. Uh, no pinfalls, no disqualifications, no countouts, no uh, submissions. No pinfalls, no submissions, no countouts, no disqualifications. Only way to win is by making your opponent bleed. Can happen anytime, anywhere. Uh, first you got our challenger, Purple Rage, jacked and ready to go. Seeing his uh, opponent here in just a moment. And here comes the new champion, Toa Latu. Despite his appearance, Toa might be one of the more chill members of uh, of the Latu tribe. If there is a chill member of the Latu tribe. Definitely doesn't lack in his confidence. You know, he's only had one match here and he won the Bloodsport Championship in that match. Look at our Bloodsport Championship graphic. We'll be seeing the belt here on display in just a moment. So this is uh, kind of with some re some changes that we've made. Yeah, I mentioned this a little bit yesterday. Uh, we're trying, I'm trying to give new people new opportunities and changing up some of our divisions. 
Core Sport Division and the World Heavyweight Title Division specifically. Looking to give them more opportunities, different opportunities. Which is why Purple Rage is getting this opportunity tonight. The winner of this match will be defending the title of next episode, which will be tomorrow. They'll be defending that against uh, Fun Train. And the winner of that match will go on this Sunday. I'm sorry, not Fun Train. Next next episode is against Dandy, Gentleman Dandy, who is coming into the uh, to the Bloodsport division. The winner of that match will then face Fun Train. And then whoever is holding the title on Sunday will defend it against uh, Trevor Jones. There's the Bloodsport Championship belt. Championship are right to go. Oh, and a hard, a hearty clothesline. Oh, stiff elbow drop. The champ is already seemingly in trouble. Oh, there's a clothesline of his own. Maybe I spoke too soon. The black is axe handle at the back of the head and neck, kicking down on him. For a punch. Oh, drops to hold on to the middle rope. Pulling him off so he can ooh, drive a knee into the chest. A kick to the back. Hurting the body, which is a good way to wear a man down, but uh, this match, you gotta go for the head. Oh! One arm slam. Kind of like an ear nagi. Here comes the power of Purple Rage. Neither the abdomen. Oh, kick. Kick. And stumped to the arm. I'm just deadlifting him here with the gut wrench suplex. Oh. The champ is in trouble. Oh, went for a running elbow there. A running for. Yeah, clothesline. Did not get the clotheslines, what I was trying to say. But he's still trying to maintain some control here. Oh, nice clothesline from Toa. Back elbow there, around the chin. Champ lifting him up. What's he got planned here? Springboard. Oh, and a super kick right on the ear. My goodness. That would have ended a normal match, but uh, this is not a normal match. It's a good tactic, though. Targeting the head. Oh, nice uppercut by the challenger. Oh, there's a running clothesline. Oh, Champ. Champ is in some serious trouble now. Oh, Side steps to the big uh, clothesline there. Shoved away. Oh, an STO. This is all Razor Yurinagi with an STO, buddy. Ooh. Side suplex. Getting the champ down. Oh, now twisting on the head and neck. Oh. Always painful to watch. Champ counters out of it. Oh, hard, hard pair of rights. Oof. Going for a power bomb. Oh. Seemingly to mock the champ. Not a wise decision in my opinion there. Oh, there's a Yurinagi. Champ signaling it's time to be done. Oh! The Samoan screwdriver. My god. Uh-oh. Went for a bat. I've seen this used before. Oh! Counter. 
Nice counter there by the champ. Oh! Modified Shine Wizard. Going for the Chimera Plex. There's phase one. There's phase two. Excuse me, now time for phase three. A straight jacket all. Hurts your body, hurts your neck, hurts your head. Hurts everything. Getting knocked around like that. Ow. Oh, a DT. A beautiful counter there. Oh, an arm ringer. It's him up there again. Goes for the leg. Oh, no. Oof. Just throws him to the side. Uh oh. Oh. Drop him. Back of his head right across the knee. Oh. Now he's going up top. What are we going to see here? Oh, and an elbow drop right to the heart. Oh, and one to the spine. It'd paralyze a person if you hit him in the wrong spot, right in the vertebrae. Oh no. Got the bat. He's waiting to use it. So he's waiting for the champ to get up. Champ says, nope. I'm not falling for that one, bud. <laughs> oh, you want to play on the apron? Ooh, nice suplex there. Jim says, oh no, that's fine. Oh, just hit him in the back of the head with a chair. Champ says, uh, I got I got this one, buddy. Wanna play games? We'll play games. Oh! Ran right in the throat. Oh, there it is. I found him right in the mouth that time. And what a main event that was. Look at this. You're an Augie. Boom. Samoan screwdriver. Boom. Vicious. Chimeraplex. Phase three. <laughs> Look at this. Purple Ray showing his power game off. And that devastating elbow plant right in the lower back. Does a baseball bat to the mouth. That that's gonna bust somebody up real quick. So your winner and still champion is Toa Latu. Toa will be defending that title against Gentleman Dandy in tomorrow's episode. And your, your winner of the main event is Toa Latu. Samoan Chill. <laughs> Oops. I'll hold up on this part, but we're actually not going to watch this actual uh, actual segment because I did not mean to to hit on this one. So it's just going to be me talking. Which actually this is a fine way to to kind of end it. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hope you guys have enjoyed the series. Hope you guys are enjoying watching this uh, on both Twitch and YouTube. I do have them in collections and playlists. So you can watch the whole thing on either platform. Um, please let me know what you guys are thinking. I love hearing feedback. So in the comment section on YouTube or just send me messages on, on Twitter at Real King of Clubs. Uh, I really appreciate it. I really love seeing what you guys have to say, what you guys think. Um, this has been a really fun series for me. So... 
Anyway, um, some big news that's happening. We have uh, the next pay-per-view event coming up this Sunday. It's called uh, Southern Injustice. It's going to be a lot of fun. I mentioned it a little bit yesterday. Uh, you're going to have one title match set. That's going to be the Blood Sport Championship. Whoever the champion is at that time will defend it against Trevor Jones. Uh, we've got a title match between Harambe Prime. That's also set. He's challenging for the World Heavyweight title against uh, El Cerebro. Uh, another title match is set uh, between the teams of the Tarp Brothers and it's supposed to be Lucha Revolution, but if... Uh, if more damage is being done to that back of uh, of Grand Tigre, we may have to may have to have a substitution for the challengers. Um, then there's also a women's title match coming up. That's going to be between the uh, current women's champion Victoria James taking on uh, Talia from the Tribe. So those title matches are set. We're going to have some number one contenders matches coming up as well. Uh, I haven't fully decided how I want to go about those. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to look to see who hasn't had a title shot in the divisions and then give them the opportunity to earn a title shot. So that's the plan for Southern Injustice coming up this Sunday. But until then, we still have two more episodes. we got tomorrow and we got Friday because I'm not going to be streaming on Thursday. Uh, at least not wrestling. If I do stream, it'll be something else, and it'll be probably earlier on the day, like in the morning, because I have my plans for Thursday night. Uh, in the meantime, guys, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for joining me, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.